Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video and in this one I want to review a tool that I use a lot recently and the name of the tool is K9S, you can see on the screen and, and this is like basically uh, a UI uh, for a CLI based UI for Kubernetes and using this tool you can get all the information about the logs, uh, configuration, uh, describe your pods and check like switch between uh, Kubernetes namespaces using just uh, a UI, CLI based UI again and uh, on this repository, uh, I will put link in description, you can find uh, how you can install and what they support and etc. I mean, uh, what, what you can get with this tool, uh, as you can see on the screen. Uh, but let's also give a like shortly check it out. So before uh, using this tool, I was like typing all these uh, Kubernetes commands again and again in my uh, terminal, for example, if I want to get uh, let's say top pods or I want to get get pods so you, you, as you can see from my history I, I have to type it like again and again provide this uh, namespace information and uh, when you do it like a lot during the day it becomes a bit boring and you have to repeat again and again that's why uh, I checked out this, checked out this uh, tool this is uh, UI for the tool and you open it by typing k9s uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time to initialize and set up but once you have it on the screen you can see all this information about your kubernetes cluster about your user uh, and on the right side of the top you can see uh, uh, like common like hotkeys how you can switch between namespaces these are namespaces and we can try it for example if i tap zero i see all items in all namespaces one is a namespace for KN project and also I can go through these uh, items uh, in this case it's a it's a deployment uh, and see oh, sorry in this case it's a pause I guess yeah and see for example YAML file for this configuration and all its details and also I can uh, use describe with D and I, it will show me like uh, all information and you can find much more like uh, by, by checking this and also they have like very nice uh, if you type a question mark you will see very nice uh, help uh, but personally what I like uh, very much it is that you can go directly to the pod and in pod you will see all these containers and you can enter one of them to see the logs so usually uh, when uh, I have for example for another one uh, we don't see it uh, for now because I have Linkerd on in my cluster. I will remove it and maybe show it later. But for example, for this uh, container, so this container is one of the containers that produce a lot of logs. And by just entering it, I can see all the logs and I can keep it open. So this command will execute it uh, each two seconds and I will see the result on the screen each two seconds, which is very nice. Um, and I think. Uh, it, so personally, uh, for me, it's very useful, and I also like one feature that uh, I forgot to mention. It's about editing, so you can type uh, E uh, on your uh, keyboard, and you will be able to edit this configuration, and it will be applied automatically. Uh, and then, if you go out, so you go, you go back to the uh, this tool again. So I used a lot. Uh, check it out, and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about it. And this is a quick story that I will put link in the description. So for now, thank you for watching and see you in another video. Bye bye.